Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Madeline Wynn. I'm a dermatology resident and today we're going to be talking about basic skincare must-haves that absolutely everyone should be doing. Whether it be your mother, your father, your brother, or your sister, or you, your friends, everyone you know, absolutely you should definitely be on this very basic, very simple skincare regimen from the time you're a teenager until forever. Regardless of your gender, your race, you gotta be on this basic skincare routine. Don't forget to hit that like button down below, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want more videos like this. So without further ado, let's get started. So the very first thing that we're gonna talk about is cleanser, of course. Just as you would shampoo your hair or wash your body with body wash, you need a face wash for your face. And please don't use your shampoo or your body wash for your face. The skin on your face is very gentle and prone to damage. So using a shampoo or a body wash or a non-facial cleanser on your face can actually damage it and cause more harm than good. So definitely use a facial cleanser. The best way to start out is to figure out what your skin type is. Are you oily, dry, combination, normal? Do you have sensitive skin? And then finding a cleanser that is gentle and works for you. So the one that I'm using is the Burt's Bees Facial Cleanser, the sensitive skin one, because I have sensitive skin. It's a cream-based cleanser because I have dry skin. If you have more oily skin, you could use more of a gel cleanser or a foaming cleanser, but definitely for dry skin, I would recommend more cream-based cleansers. Honestly, you could even use both, whatever floats your boat, but definitely find one that you like and that feels best for your skin. And I'll link some very good options for y'all in my skincare Amazon list in the description below. The second step in the skincare basics is moisturize. No matter what type of skin that you have, whether it's dry or oily, you need to moisturize and protect that skin barrier. Again, figure out what type of skin you have, whether it's dry, oily combination, normal, sensitive, etc., and find a moisturizer that you like and that will work best for you. Everyone's skin is different, so what works for me may not work for you, but if you want to play on the safe side, I would absolutely recommend, again, going for a gentle moisturizer. Look for things like ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Go for something that that feels good on your skin. One that I really like to recommend for pretty much all my patients and one that I use myself is the La Roche-Posay Toleran. I think that's how you pronounce it. Toleran, <laughs> I'm not French. La Roche-Posay Toleran Double Repair Face Moisturizer. I don't really use this one in particular as much because I like moisturizer that I can use both in the AM and the PM. And this one in particular has UV protection as well. Personally, I like to go for moisturizers without any SPF in them and then doing my SPF separate. But I really, really like the La Roche-Posay Toleran Double Repair Moisturizer without the SPF in it for use in the PM and the AM. This one is a really good one. It blends really nicely into your skin. It feels like nothing. I hate feeling anything on my skin. It's one of the reasons why I don't like wearing face makeup and I just don't like that icky, sticky feeling on my skin. So I personally really like moisturizers that will blend in seamlessly on your skin and absorb rapidly, give you moisturization, the adequate amount that you need without making you feel like a sticky mess. So this one is a really good option for that. Again, I like the one without SPF, but if you like the one with SPF, it works just as fine. You want to find a moisturizer that you will use. That's gonna be key. And this one blends in very nice. Again, I don't like moisturizers with SPF commonly because it feels a lot thicker and stickier, but I do like this one. But again, the important part is to find a moisturizer that works for you, that you like, and that you will continue to use. That's the number one thing to be looking for. And again, I'll link my Amazon skincare list below in the description. And on that list, it'll have a ton of different moisturizers that I have tried personally and used and recommended to my patients of all different skin types. The third thing that absolutely everyone should be doing for their skin is using a retinoid. A retinoid. 
The way that you use a retinoid is you apply a small pea-sized amount to the tip of your finger and then apply all over your entire face. You can do a dab here, dab here, dab here, dab here, and then rub into your whole face. Or if you want a more even application, you could do just tiny little dots all over your face and then rub into the entire face immediately after using a gentle cleanser at night. You want to use retinoids only at night because they do get inactivated by the sun. So I guess you could apply a retinoid in the morning after cleansing your face as well, but it would kind of be moot because Again, the ingredient is getting inactivated by the sun, so it's not really doing anything. So again, use it at night only. The way that retinoids work is they increase the turnover of your skin and renew it. So it is the mainstay of treatment for acne. However, it also has benefits with texture, tone, collagen production, and wrinkles as well. So I highly recommend everyone using a retinoid, whether you have acne prone skin, whether you're a teenager or a grown adult, I absolutely recommend using a retinoid for everyone. And I'm trying to get my dad to do it as well, but you know dads, they're stubborn. The one side effect with retinoids is that they can be very irritating to your skin as well, because again, it's increasing that skin turnover. So it can cause burning, redness, irritation, dry and flaking and the way to combat that is to start low and go slow the secret behind retinoids is just being patient and using it over time for a long time you don't have to hit the ground running you don't have to obliterate your face to get good results you just have to be patient and consistent the same with all skincare honestly as I mentioned there are a ton of different formulations for retinoids over-the-counter options you have retinols which are a lot more gentle than retinoids so if you're starting out I absolutely recommend starting out with a retinol and then over time once you feel like you're tolerating the retinol fine I would start using an over-the-counter retinoid so the only over-the-counter retinoid that you can get at this point is adapalene 0.1% there are two different brands that offer it at this point in time you can get different or La Roche posay they both have adapalene 0.1% formulations different actually used to be a prescription and that's the one that I started on many many moons ago but then eventually it became over the counter which is super great and increases accessibility so if you feel like you're tolerating retinols or you just want to try out a retinoid from the start absolutely start with Dufresne or La Roche-Posay Adapalene 0.1%. Really the only difference between the Dufresne and La Roche-Posay is I think you get more bang for your buck with the La Roche-Posay in terms of cost effectiveness. It's cheaper per ounce, so if you can find that, highly recommend. If you can only find Dufresne, absolutely get that. Get whatever you have or whatever is accessible to you is really my motto, so whichever you can find, use that. If you've been using the Adapalene 0.1% for three to four months now and you feel like you're tolerating it just fine and you want to switch to a prescription grade retinoid, absolutely go see a dermatologist and work with them to see what retinoid would work best for you. You can bump up to a higher percentage of Adapalene if you want, or you can go to Tretinoin. Your dermatologist will work with you to work out insurance and cost effectiveness as well as find the best one that suits your skin. The one I'm using right now is Tretinoin, but again, I've been using retinoids since the beginning of time because I'm a dinosaur now. <laughs> Just kidding. But I've been using retinoids for a very long time, so I have slowly increased up to Tretinoin, and still I feel like I can only use the Tretinoin every other night because it does irritate my skin. Retinoids are all about consistency and improvement over time. It's not a one-time thing. If you feel like you're doing all the right things, slowly building it up, using it every third night for the first month, every other night for the second, and then you're still not able to tolerate it, I would recommend doing the moisturizer sandwich technique. And the way that you do that is immediately after cleansing your face at night, you would apply a thin layer of moisturizer first. Leave that moisturizer on for about five minutes and then apply your pea-sized amount of retinoid to your entire face and then another layer 
layer of moisturizer on top. If even with that, you're still getting a lot of irritation and burning, redness, flaking, etc., then I would apply a layer of emollient on top of that. So that has certainly happened to me with the tretinoin. And the way that I combat it is I do the moisturizer sandwich technique. And then on top of the moisturizer sandwich, I will apply a thin layer of aquaphor over my entire face. It does make my face very sticky. That is another way to kind of combat it. And again, there's no harm in using it every other night if you need, instead of working up to every night. And there's also no shame in going back down to a lower strength as well. Again, you don't need to hit your face with a train in order to see results. It's all about consistency and time and patience. So if you have to go down to a lower strength or if you feel like you can only tolerate it every other night, absolutely okay. Do what works best for you and your skin. As long as you're using that retinoid, you will be okay. The fourth and final and absolute most important thing that you should be doing for your skin, sunscreen. And I know people hate hearing me say it when I say sunscreen, but it does not matter what you're doing with your skin if you're not protecting it from UV radiation and the damage from the sun. So the absolute best sunscreen that you can find is the one that you will use. <laughs> so I can make all the recommendations that I like and I will be giving recommendations. However, if you don't like it and you're not gonna use it, then you should find another one that you will use. My personal preference is to use mineral-based sunscreen. So every time I pick up a sunscreen bottle, I look at the active ingredients and I look for sunscreens that only have zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. That's my personal preference. But again, if you feel like you like using the chemical-based sunscreens better, then absolutely use that. The best sunscreen for you is gonna be the one that you use. And I will keep saying that forever and ever. But again, my preference is to use mineral-based sunscreen. The problem with mineral-based sunscreens is it can leave a bit of a white cast, so it's hard to find one that doesn't. So personally, I like to use the Elta MD Tinted UV Clear Facial Sunscreen. It's a mineral-based sunscreen, but it does not leave a white cast. It is tinted, however, I do recommend using a tinted sunscreen anyway, regardless of your gender, your age, etc. You know what I'm about to say. Everyone should be using a tinted sunscreen if it were up to me, because tinted sunscreen sunscreens are the only sunscreens that will block damage from the visible light spectrum. So I highly recommend using a tinted sunscreen. I really like this one personally because again, it rubs into the skin really nicely. You know, I don't like anything that feels really heavy or thick on my skin. I like to just feel like I have nothing on my face. And so this one is really good for that. I've had boys use this and they love it as well because we all know that boys hate feeling anything sticky on their skin, probably even more than me. So this is a tried and true product, boy approved, <laughs> dad approved. My dad hates sunscreen or anything on his face as well. So absolutely use this. Again, use the tinted version even if you're a boy, regardless of your skin tone, because this tint will actually rub into your skin. And I have recommended this to several different patients of all Fitzpatrick skin types of all ages and of all genders and pretty much all of them have loved it. So again, when you put it on your skin here, you can see that it's tinted, but once you rub it in, tint is gone, but you're still getting that benefit of protection against the visible light spectrum. If there is one thing that I would splurge on, it's sunscreen, honestly. I also really like the La Roche-Posay mineral anti-helios light fluid sunscreen. CeraVe has great options. I will link my Amazon skincare list down in the description and I'll include a bunch of sunscreen options that I like as well. And I just wanna reiterate that I am not sponsored by any of these brands or any of these products at all. I did do a sponsorship for Burt's Bees a while ago, but I still use their stuff. So all of these products that I'm showing y'all are products that I actually use 
personally and that are tried and true that I absolutely love and recommend to my patients pretty much daily. But again, it doesn't matter exactly what product that you use. It's that you're doing this basic skincare regimen every day consistently and using the products that work best for your skin because you are the master of your own life and I want you to find products that work for you regardless of your skin type, regardless of your skin color, regardless of your age, regardless of your gender. You should be doing this basic skincare regimen every single day. And of course, all the other fancy products and all the other fancy ingredients that I will hopefully go into one day, such as azelaic acid, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, vitamin C serum, etc. Those are all extras if you have the time or if you have the budget. But these four steps in your skincare routine are absolutely essential for everyone out there. If you take one thing away from this video, please let it be that you absolutely need to be doing these four things for your skin, cleansing, moisturizing, treating, and protecting, and use the products that feel best for you, that work best for you. I believe in you, you can do this. Let me know in the comments what your favorite tip was, what your favorite products are, and what you learned from this video. I'd love to hear from you, and also I'd love to hear from what you would like to see next, what you would like to learn next from a dermatology resident. And don't forget to smash that like button down below it motivates me to do more videos for y'all and to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss another video. Send this video to all your friends and your family, your dads, your brothers, your boyfriends, all the people that are resistant to skincare and try and convince them to try out these very simple basic tips. I promise you, your skin will thank you. Their skin will thank them. I can't wait to see how your skin glows. And that's it. That is the basics of skincare. Skin skincare essentials that absolutely everyone should be doing every single day consistently and patiently. Until next time, my name is Dr. Madeline Wynn and I will be back with skin tips soon, hopefully. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.